Happy 2024, everybody. I'm Dylan Foreman, your community sports reporter here on the Central Coast. I hope everyone had a great holiday season and great time with family and friends. And as we head into the new year, we want to take a look back at some of the best sporting moments from 2023. From the basketball court to the wrestling mat and even the octagon, here's a look back at some of the best sporting moments from this past year. Let's take a look at Cal Poly to start. Ada McCarthy was a household name all throughout the indoor track season and into outdoor. Last year, he made it all the way to the NCAA championships in the 800 meter after setting school records in the 800, 1500, and indoor mile. Staying in that same lane, both the Cal Poly men and women's cross country programs repeated as Big West champions, and they did it right here at home at Black Lake Golf Resort in Napomo, led by Davis Bowe, who won the individual championship by a landslide for the men. Over to the gridiron last January, news dropped that former five-star quarterback recruit Sam Heward from the University of Washington was transferring to play for the Mustangs. Well, he lived up to the hype, setting two school records for the most completions and touchdowns in the game this past fall. Lastly, to the mat, Cal Poly Wrestling, John Cerritos and his team placed third in the Pac-12 Championships, their highest finish since 2009-2010. Additionally, six wrestlers went on to compete in the NCAA Championships headline by Bernie Truax, who went on to earn his third All-American honors in a fourth place finish. Staying in college, UC Santa Barbara men's basketball proved to be the best team in the conference last year, winning the Big West Championship and earning an automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament, where they eventually fell to Baylor in the first round. Guard A.J. Mitchell won MVP of the conference, while senior Miles Norris went on to graduate and get drafted into the NBA by the Atlanta Hawks. In the high school ranks, plenty of big storylines. To no surprise, St. Joseph boys basketball kicks it off after reaching the CIF Open Division State Championship game, playing in Sacramento at the Golden One Arena, where they fell to Harvard-Westlake. It was the biggest stage the team had been on as they worked their way to a Central Section Championship game and wins over powerhouse programs in the postseason. Lompoc High School made history this past fall as the first and only program to field a girls' flag football program within the Central Coast Athletic Association after the CIF made a distinct sanctioned sport last year. The team finished at 4-5 and five in the hopes of adding more teams in the area next season. In the pool, it was another dominant season start to finish for the Arroyo Grande girls water polo team that not only won their 200th consecutive league match, but went on to win their first ever central section title, defeating Clovis 9-6. To wrap up what was an amazing year of sports on the central coast in the octagon, North County's Cody Gibson earned a spot in the UFC for a three-fight contract after competing on the show The Ultimate Fighter and putting on a highly entertaining championship fight in UFC 292. Well, that's the list of some of the best sporting moments here on the Central Coast in 2023. We know we missed a few, so let us know if you have an idea for another sporting moment that wasn't listed in here that you think should have made the list, and hopefully we have even more jaw-dropping and exhilarating stories in 2024. Here in studio, I'm your community sports reporter, Dylan Foreman, KSBY Sports.